Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I am working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to cover how we can add monitoring to our Elasticsearch cluster. And I've covered all the parts or videos uh, in the playlist, and you can watch those. So um, it is actually um, the last video of our um, series of Elasticsearch automated deployment, right? So if you see the status of our cluster is green, what I'm going to do, uh, navigate to this auto scaling group, and I'm going to remove one of the nodes because um, I don't have much capacity in my sandbox environment. What I will be doing, I'm remo uh, removing one data node, or definitely you should not do in your production or any raw environment as this is the demo, right? And what I will be doing, I'm going to remove one of the nodes. So um, the nodes are going to be one and our uh, cluster status is going to be um, yellow from green. So um, as I discussed with you, I don't have any choice to remove one of the data nodes. So it is shutting down, but what I will be doing, uh, simply navigate to um, the auto scaling group and I'm going to add one node automatically and it is going to be our monitoring node and simply click this guy so in the monitoring node what i will be doing i'm going to add one uh, node and the automatically in what it does it is going to uh, add uh, kibana and grafana for us so um, you see as i previously uh, previously discussed in our terraform infrastructure we do have a monitoring uh, section as well in that we have uh, launch configuration and uh, this is now um, spinning up so i'm going to simply type running here uh, by adding the uh, running filter right so uh, shortly you will be seeing that uh, one node is going to be in initialization series and it is uh, our monitoring and what i've done uh, you can use the ip sorry uh, open vpn to access your infrastructure internally i have covered the videos uh, with regard to the open vpn setup in docker in five minutes you can watch those videos right but what i have done i am spinning up this node in public subnet to just make it accessible uh, to my only to my ip right so navigate to the security section and what i'll be quickly doing i'm going to allow all the traffic to my public ip address so i'm going to do that and i'm going to paste the ip address of this uh, machine here and also i'm going to add a port regarding the kibana right so navigate to this section and i'm going to simply allow all the traffic to my IP address, so I'm going to simply um, click this um, out traffic, my IP, right? Simply save the rule. And um, I should be able to see shortly um, the Grafana and uh, Kibana, but definitely the node initialization has just begun. So, um, what I will be doing till then, I'm going to show you. The user data so this is the elastic search node data is pretty much similar like the master uh, one two and three the only thing you know um, is different is uh, regarding the configuration that this is the data node master is set to false and um, node discovery is debug i do recommend to uh, you know um, make this hash um, unchecked i mean remove this hash so you can see only the error levels in your uh, CloudWatch logs. So this is the demo. That is why I actually in, in, intentionally added that particular uh, hash to see all the stuff. Um, we should be able to see all the stuff in our Cloud uh, CloudWatch section. Other than I'm spinning up APM container metric beat and this Elasticsearch, right? So um, if you navigate to the section regarding remove the extra bits uh, from uh, here and i'm going to uh, take a shell into this guy right so it is not available just try to refresh the cons console right so and let's try to access this machine 
I'm going to click connect, right? So simply refresh it and you might be seeing uh, the Grafana is now available and Kibana might be spin up as well. So you see the automated um, spinning up of our um, required monitoring solution. So if I do Docker PS iPhone A, you, you see two containers are spun up for us. Um, anyway, what I need to do, uh, I'm going to navigate to the user data and I'm going to show you the stuff regarding to the monitoring. So uh, this is the stuff. Um, if you navigate to the uh, Route 53 section, you will see one entry is uh, done by this guy. Um, one thing, so if you navigate to this section, you see uh, currently you're not seeing any entry, simply refresh it. You will be see kibana.cloudgeeks.tk. You see this entry and the private IP is automatically updated by spinning up this container or I should say the machine. So um, I'm going to add admin here and the password is custom cloud geeks right so simply um, do the entry and similarly um, i'm going to dismiss uh, explore at my own and um, if you navigate to this section uh, regarding the um, dev tool uh, stack monitoring section right so um, yes Okay, recommended. You see um, the status um, missing replica shard because we have removed one node. So we have indices, all the stuff regarding to that. But you see one of the cool thing I've added here is automated APM server. Um, we have five APM server now available. So click this guy, right? So let it open. So remove the um, extra bits regarding the warning. Um, this console give. So you see all our nodes uh, which we have actually spin up are now uh, available. Um, I mean, with regard to the nodes, you can uh, see what um, APM server gives you the more visibility, CPU utilization, CPU load, um, APM metrics regarding the request API and to your um, console. And you see, we are able to see everything from here. And if you navigate to the section uh, regarding the um, observability right and um, if you click on the matrix right um, we should be able to see our metric uh, beat here you see if you click this guy you see everything with regard to um, i mean processes metadata cpu and if you from the host if you um, select the Docker, you see all the stuff, uh, master load, uh, metric bead load, I mean, master node, uh, CPU utilization and everything uh, regarding that you can watch uh, those and you can create a rule or whatever you wanna do. But and this is the automation I've done regarding the observability of our, um, um, I mean, cluster. So, so if you navigate to the host section, Click this guy and um, open in another page. You can do that as well. So uh, you see, this is the APN. I mean, um, the nodes you want to see the at the individual level. You can see the status of each node, what version, and how much traffic is sent to that particular node. Uh, you can easily watch uh, through this automated uh, deployment of infrastructure. What I have set up for you guys. And this is, I wanna show you with regard to the monitoring and um, definitely in Elasticsearch, you can simply uh, navigate to the section regarding the settings and uh, navigate to the section like add a data source. We, we can add a data source like Elasticsearch, scroll it down and click Elasticsearch. So um, in monitoring section, if I navigate to um, Terraform ELK in uh, monitoring section, right? Uh, click this guy, uh, uh, I mean, click the monitoring section. Uh, actually, you know, um, I'm not, uh, you know, cover all the detail. Uh, I'm, I cannot cover all the detail uh, in a, a single video, but um, I've added some of the screenshot which I've taken from uh, my previous testing. So what I'm going to do, previously I've tested on HTTP, let's try and test on HTTPS and uh, regarding that. Um, 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this endpoint, right? Okay, um, this is going to be 443. And uh, regarding the index's name, I'm going to use metric and 17 dash star and let's try to test it um okay no time stamp found uh, regarding that so anyway you can add elastic search um uh, regarding the settings uh okay i need to check that um regarding the metric beat uh okay let's try to do that I might be covered this in my next videos. Okay, you see index is okay. Yeah, now it's fine. I'm giving the wrong uh, index. Um, so um, that is now actually okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do, uh, you can simply navigate to the screenshot which I've shared. So um, adding our, uh, you know, data source is done so simply click this metric beat and um, you can simply click the explore section right and you should be able to see uh, some of the stuff um, um, regarding your um, query so from here count to metric um, I need to check the settings. I will be back in a moment. So guys, uh, this is the metric beat uh, view. Uh, it is not actually um, Grafana. I'm going to show you that. So this is the host view. You can see the memory utilization, CPU utilization, inbound, outbound traffic, and the load and the network traffic um, this is the cool feature um, if you set up properly in your um, infrastructure you can see all the visibility of your elastic search in this cool kibana so let me um, let me uh, get back to you guys in a moment regarding the settings so guys uh, regarding the settings you see in grafana we have now our um, magic week a metric beat status is now available you see um, all the stuff regarding to the metric beat in grafana is available so what i've done i've updated the data source um, you can actually um, access this uh, data source internally as well so simply i just want to show you that previously previously it was on https but you can use this endpoint http elastic search node one cloud geeks uh, on 9200 so this is our default so uh, we are able to access now our um, um, cluster, right? Uh, so you can um, see all the stuff uh, with regard to that. Uh, I mean, uh, what do you want to see um, regarding uh, that particular stuff? So this is the raw data, a uh, max minimum size, and um, you can see the agent host name. So let me scroll it down, see. So uh, that is it. You can use Grafana and you can use all the cool, uh, I mean, import um, the dashboard is uh, dashboard as well. Uh, let me try to add that as well. So guys, uh, previously I have not done much exploration in the dashboards. You can um, do yourself but one thing i need to do i've seen some of the stuff regarding the dashboard you need to add prometheus container and push the logs uh, so uh, you can have different dashboards as well regarding your grafana but um what i've done you see um i've already added um the stuff regarding um i mean if i navigate to the section where you can see all the stuff with regard to your um, infrastructure you see inventory uh, matrix explorer um, already in your uh, one cool um, kibana where you can have all the visibility instead of uh, grafana you can watch that um, grafana is very cool as well but uh, this is the native solution provided by elasticsearch itself so uh, you can explore this guy and uh, we can do i mean 
ഓക്കെ ദീസ് നമ്മൾ ഡാഷ്ബോർഡ് ഡാഷ്ബോർഡ്സ് എ പി എം ഒബ്സർവബിലിറ്റി വി ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി എഡിറ്റ് ഐ മീൻ എ പി എം ഇസ് ഓൾറെഡി വി ഹാവ് ദിസ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ സ്റ്റപ്പ് ഐ നീഡ് ടു ഷോ യു റിഗാർഡിംഗ് അവർ ഇൻഫ്രാസ്ട്രക്ചർ ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ ഹാവ് കവേഡ് ദ ക്രഫാൻ ആൻഡ് ക്യൂറി ഓൾ ദ സ്റ്റഫ് ബട്ട് I'm not uh, going to cover all the stuff and you know, it's going to be really time t- and taking. So um, that is it guys. Um, but I do highly recommend to use the native uh, tool, must tool uh, Kibana as well to, uh, you know, do the monitoring uh, regarding your infrastructure with uh, Elasticsearch. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel and hi- have a nice day. So this is the last video and that's all regarding the Elasticsearch infrastructure on AWS and Twitter form.